Hi everybody and welcome to a new Let's Play on my channel. We're gonna play Half-Life Echoes and if you haven't heard of this I'm not surprised because I think this was released fairly recently and it's a mod for Half-Life 1, uh, an unofficial one but it's supposed to be really rather nice even though it is made in Half-Life 1, the original game, so it's not using the Source engine. And uh, I have no idea if anyone on my channel wants to watch me play this, but I want to play it, so I thought, why not record it? And this is going to be completely blind, so I expect everything to go wrong, <laughs> as usual. So, uh, yeah, I, I don't know much about this. I'm going to put a link in the description if you want to download the mod and try it out for yourself. So let's just... Um, begin observation. I have set it up. I've kind of just briefly started it, so uh, checking so it works, and it kind of did, so uh, let's just get going. And we're going to go with conventional difficulty, because I have no confidence in, in myself when it comes to higher difficulties. <laughs> Unforeseen consequences. The last time I heard those words was back at Black Mesa, when he whispered them in my ear. The whole world went to hell that day. When he brought in that crystal, I knew I... You know who I'm talking about. Our mutual friend. Oh, gee, man, you're always somewhere in the shadows, lurking telling funny stories and just coming up with the most weird reasons for why I should do stuff. But yeah, um, G-Man is up to his usual antics and we are going to have to do something about it. I think this is taking place at the same time as Half-Life 1, I think at least. But we're not playing Gordon Freeman. I just went quiet there because I wanted you to enjoy the the neat sound work here of me parking my car and closing the door. <laughs> yeah, we're not playing Gordon Freeman. I have no idea who this dude is. Uh, but some other scientist, maybe, maybe he's a janitor. I really don't know. I haven't really read about any about this uh, anything about it. I should have done that, maybe. But where's the fun in that? Let's just explore and have fun and destroy stuff. Oh, hi rats. That's cute. There's rats here. I like rats. Can I get up and say hi? I think I can. See if I can remember the controls here. Can you get up there? Oh yes, almost. No, we can't. But there's two nice looking rats there. I like, I approve that, of that. Ooh. Something is afoot here. Can we get in here and grab wonderful weapons that we can use to destroy stuff? No, we can't. And the controls are a bit uh, different. I press shift, I, I walk instead of run, which is kind of annoying. I'm so used to pressing shift to run, so I'm probably going to get a bit confused <laughs> here when trying to, uh, to run, which I'm already doing. Fire thingy. In case of fire, well, there's no fire. Hmm, is there really, um, there's ample parking. Oh, hang on, here. Hey, who are you? Dude. Hey, it's no good up there, it's all sealed off. Have you ever seen anything like this? This area just doesn't feel right. Right, I think this is a new guard, right? This isn't Barney, this is, it's got his voice, but it's a different face. That's nice, and there's a bit of, um, well, traffic situation going on here. <laughs> I don't know if some of the voices are new, newly recorded or or what's going on. I It did sound like Eli at the beginning there. What are you doing? So I'm not sure if that is from Half-Life 2 or if they've just maybe found another actor. But it did really sound like the voice actor that did Eli. So, hmm, probably reuse. What are you doing? Why are you touching that crate? 
All right, I'm gonna let him do his thing. Better leave him alone. So already I have to say this looks very nice indeed. I mean, for a Half-Life 1 uh, <laughs> game. And I loved Half-Life 1, it was just an amazing game when I played it in the 90s. I was like completely blown away. What's going on? Whoa, that was close. You have any idea what's going on? Nope, I'm afraid I don't. But I have a fair idea what's going to happen soon. I'm going to find a, a crowbar and then I'm going to start murdering things. And uh, you should just stay away from me. Ah, this is really nice looking. So, what's going on in here? Have you got an HEV suit and a... Well, yeah, could you give me that sandwich, please? No, I can't pick it up. That's a shame. Can't get in. Oh, can I? Apparently, I have pretty low security clearance, so I can't even go in here and grab a donut. That is sad. Let's go this way. Mouse sensitivity might be a little bit high, <laughs> but I do like to keep it high. High and twitchy. Oh, that's nice. Cockroaches in the toilet. That is, that is great. That is really neat. Oh God, no one's cleaning the bowl either. Disgusting. Out of order. Yeah, this seems to be um, uh, Black Mesa, all right. Everything's working here. Yep. No problems around here. Oh, I'm sorry. There's someone in there. Hey. Hey. All right. Which one of you guys locked me in here? <laughs> I'm serious now. This has become quite annoying. Yeah, I think that's a sound bit from Hello? the... Uh, Hello? From the first game. Come on, guys. I'd love to let you out, but I can't. It's still locked, so yeah. Um. Oh yeah, there's some pretty low res tech. What the frick? Did you just appear out of nowhere, or did the dude in the toilet maybe blow up? Let's go back and find out. No, he's still there. Still there. So what the hell was that that just happened? And where did you come from? Damnation! Someone will pay for this mess. I promise you. When this is yeah. Over, heads will roll. About that. You haven't played Half-Life 2, have you? Hmm. Well, I shouldn't spoil anything, so let's just carry on. Try and go, uh, go and grab my, um... My crowbar. I feel naked without it. And I'm probably going to lower the sensitivity of the mouse just a tiny bit. All right, this is now, a bit better. Where did I leave that shutdown procedure chart? What are you doing? Fixing the plumbing? Well, you're not doing it right. Ah! What the? <laughs> did someone just fall down? I'm not sure. Yeah, this looks really nice. I am liking it already. East personnel entrance. All right. Should go down and have a look first, I think. That's not a good that PhD does me now, hmm? You know, theoretically, this is impossible. Theoretically. Don't you have more important things to be doing than keeping me from my work? No, where did I leave that? Well, I do, but shot. where's the fun in that? How the hell did you manage to get this done? Well, good work. Status report to the administrator? Okay. Yeah, this is a bit of a mess. Do we want to go down there? I don't think we can. We can actually go down there. I just have a feeling it's a very bad idea, so let's not do that yet, unless we absolutely have to. Because who knows, maybe that's the only way out. Dr. Van Buren. Diplomatic relations? Hmm, so, so this is the guy that's going to talk to the aliens, maybe, when we get invaded in a couple of hours? I can't take much more of this. <coughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I know what you mean. These these old PCs are crap, really. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> Did I just break your step? I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I I don't know my own strength. I got to say the the back of this monitor is really quite. I mean. A fan in the monitor? This is a really high-powered one. Hmm. Interesting! But what's that with you? Are you suffering from a heart attack or just indigestion, maybe? Uh... Do you recall any of those emergency survival procedures? Black Mesa Electric. Oh, this looks safe. This looks completely safe. I'm just gonna save and try, try it out and see if it is safe. Right, let's let's go down it. This is stupid, but I'm gonna no, do it. Stay back! <laughs> oh dear god. Um, well, that wasn't safe, so let's just carefully go back. You are completely in disregard of safety instructions here. Yeah, I do like how they start up, started out the um, start up the mod like very slowly and just kind of getting you into the the mood here setting things up i really do like that just like half-life one that famous uh, train ride at the beginning black mesa research black mesa new mexico right oh what is going on here oh there's military helicopters that's never a good thing. Unless, of course, you're being invaded by alien astro bastards. Now, this is very nice indeed, and I know I keep repeating myself, but you know, I do really rather like this. Can I get in here? I think I can. And possibly get electrocuted. So let's try and do that. Are you insane? Don't be a fool! No. Oh, well. That wasn't good. <laughs> Subject demonstrated exceedingly poor judgment prior to containment failure. Well, yeah, I can't argue with that. 1200 volts, you know, I truly missed that sign at first. I'm guessing that's not what I'm supposed to do, right? Or is there a way around? Let's just have a little bit of a peek. Are you insane? Um, I'm gonna try it again. Go this Don't way. Get out of here. Oh, I can open the door. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, sapped again. I can't open it from this way. I don't think there's anything to do in here, but I can't resist Are mucking about with stuff. Don't be a fool. Get out of here. It's gonna open it up. Who knows? Maybe, maybe we need to come back and help those guys out by blowing them up with a rocket launcher or something. Right. What? Did you just wreck this vending machine? Seriously? Yeah. What do you guys... Oh, check it out. Did you hear that? That sound. What is it? Oh, no. It's probably those anomalous materials people again. Always pushing their equipment too hard, dabbling in who knows what. I'd be surprised if there's one good brain among them. Yep, I put the blame on Gordon Freeman. Mm-hmm, can't get in here. Hot steam. Ooh, hot steam. So, where's my crowbar anyway? Why don't these ever seem to work? <laughs> what the hell is going on with our equipment? Ooh, I can't wrap my brain around it. Ah, uh, this is so cool. I'm really liking this. Yeah, this is the same room as before. I do like that when you kind of come around and return to the same area, just from a different, you know, different perspective. That's pretty damn neat. Did you understand that last announcement? Yeah. Do you think we should but now I am ready to murder stuff. Come I'm on, I want to. I want to crowbar. Aliens. 
Black Mesa South, access tunnel length 5 miles, but let's not go that way. Besides, it was dark and terrifying. Transport hub. Ooh. Hey. Can't this wait till we're off duty? Um, well, okay. You've got a very high res. Uh, plaque there, that's very nice. Or card. Hmm, good for you. Good for you! Tram grid map. Hmm. Attention train to leave in eight minutes from platform. If you're waiting for the tram to sector G, then you're probably better off walking it. I overheard someone say that all the trams on this end of the facility are having problems. That sounds vaguely familiar. Ah, damn these locked doors. Hey, catch me later, I'll buy you a beer. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, Barney's dialogue, all right. Okay, no doors. Well, maybe this one is open. Nope. Sadness. Let's go down here. Ooh, this is a very nicely decorated area. What are you staring at? I believe this will make for a notable paper, don't you? <laughs> All right, see if we can go down here and uh, find something. Nope, still no crowbar. Makes me very sad. Can we do this later? Another toilet. That smell is interesting. <laughs> I hope that odor isn't coming from you. All right, guys, I'm going to just leave you to it. I think that's for the best, really. Let's see if the ladies is... You are completely wrong. Uh, I'm stuck. <laughs> Funny. Yeah, I, I see. I understand. You're stuck. Did sound like a male voice in here as well, so I wonder what they're up to in there. Let's not hang around to find out. Let's carry on to Black Mesa, bloody blah, number. You ever seen anything like this? I suspected this could happen, but the administrator just would not. The sample was just delivered to the test chamber. Any ideas on the origin of that new sample? Perhaps. This analysis is going to run perfectly today. Don't you think? I'm sure of it. Nice spin about there. You, you don't move your feet when you turn around. That that's slightly creepy. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I want to go in here. It's obviously fun things happening. But no, we're gonna have to carry on, and maybe take the train to somewhere. My files. I can't answer my mail. I haven't Step even off, been buddy. able to get into my office. Would you be quiet? Any Please. Buttons I can oh. press. Ah, uh, still got a crap security clearance apparently, so can't go in there either. Get in here quick. What? What are you on about? All right. Let's go for it. That's a very oh, nice HEV suit you got there. It's uh, a <laughs> shame if anything should uh, happen to it, you know. That doesn't sound right. That sound. What is it? I'm guessing yeah, that I suit's going to be right. mine soon. Kind so I've just hand it over, all right? Voice. Uh oh. This seems vaguely familiar. I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> no. Do you have any idea what to do next? We'll get through this together. Just I give me the suit, all right? Security guard should know what he's doing. Sure do. <laughs> Things are going splendidly. You can't be serious. 
Where's my suit? What the hell are you doing? Okay, let's get out of here. That's not the right way to do it. Give me that crowbar. Come on. Give me the crowbar. Just hand it over, damn you. All right. Loser. <laughs> oh, isn't this like the... No, maybe it's not. Or maybe it is. I just kind of seem like I remember this from the train ride in Half-Life 1. It could be one of the rooms you go through, actually. It's pretty neat. And should you change your mind about the uh, suit, just, you know, let me know. Warning, extreme electromagnetic field hazard in sector C. Where are you going? Excuse, I can't be bothered right now. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's see if there's anything else we can do in here before we try that lift. I'm gonna guess no. Nope. Eight fifty-seven. I don't remember what time the incident happened, to be honest. In Half-Life One. But I'm guessing it's already occurred, so uh or maybe not. Things haven't gone boom yet, so, uh, hmm, in a big way. Why are all the lifts so slow? I know I wanted to enjoy the ride down and check out the environment, so okay, fair enough. They don't stand too close to the main doors when they're opening or closing. Thank they're you! Thank you for saving my, my life. If I have to ride that tram one more time, I'm gonna... <clears throat> <laughs> I feel the same way. No, not quite. I'm gonna enjoy the ride. Let's go in here and have the ride of my life. We're in for a long day today. Good morning and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. <laughs> this train is inbound. <laughs> Sector C. Do you smell something burning? My goodness! Danger, danger. All personnel evacuate facility immediately. This is not a test. You can't get any worse than this. You look slightly concerned, dude. Go on those eyes, man. <laughs> Shoot the door, damn you! Shoot it! Emergency system failure, 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 failure. What the hell is going on here? Oh, hang on. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. Or maybe it is. Get out of here. Oh dear God. I can't do it. I can't. We'll never make it. Can I get out of here? If I just had my trusty crowbar, everything would be fine. Oh dear God! <laughs> what the? Oh, it's one of those things. <laughs> would you mind opening the door? Maybe. Okay, maybe not then. Oh God. I didn't quite expect that. Can I get out of no. the window? Please don't. No! Okay, I didn't quite expect that guy to show up. Right, I'm still alive. That's good. That is good. So now the crap has hit the fans, I assume I can get hold of some weapons and start, you know, fixing stuff. And by fixing stuff, of course, I mean murdering aliens in alphabetical order. Or maybe more chronological order, to be honest, to make things a little bit easier. Ah, yeah, this is really nice. I really like this. And there's a head crab on that vending machine, <laughs> which is a bad thing. But no one cared about it. Maybe it was a pet.
Is it the end of the game? Will I s Oh, hi, G-Man! Would you mind fixing me up? I assume that's me they are giving CPR to, right? If that god had only given me that HEV, HEV suit, everything would have been fine! Okay, so it's just me and the cockroaches? Everyone else left? Run? Oh god. Yeah, guys, I'm gonna save the running for next episode because I think we've been recording for up to almost um, 25 or I think maybe 30 minutes. So, um, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you uh, thought it was any good and um, I will probably make a couple more of these because I am really enjoying this. So it's nice to be back in Half-Life 1. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope to see you on the next one. Cheers.